to say that my congratulations to all the recipients of the awards today. I know how hard that job is that you do. I also want to pay tribute to your perseverance in bringing these important issues to the public's attention. And I also want to pay tribute to the human rights defenders who operate throughout the whole in very, very difficult circumstances. With bravery, with courage, with determination, to end human rights violations here in Nepal. Despite the best efforts of the international community, the UK government believes there is more that can and must be done to combat this issue, and particularly to address the culture of impunity for these crimes that have been allowed to develop. For this reason, on 29 May, the Foreign Secretary launched his Preventing Sexual Violence Initiative in London in the presence of UNHCR Special Envoy Angelina Jolie. The Foreign Secretary's initiative aims to replace the culture of impunity with one of deterrence by increasing the number of perpetrators brought to justice both internationally and nationally, by strengthening international efforts and coordination to prevent and respond to sexual violence, and by supporting states building to build national capacity. To achieve this, the United Kingdom will launch a sustained campaign through the UK's presidency of the G8 in 2013 to build a global partnership to prevent sexual violence in conflict. Our objective will be to secure a range of new commitments from G8 partners to strengthen international efforts to prevent and respond to sexual violence in conflict, which we hope to broaden beyond the G8 over time. Security sector reform, social transformation. For the socially just society, these are key to create environment where women feel empowered and where we can feel that, yes, we are leading towards ending or controlling violence against women, which has not happened yet, I must say. We work very hard for security sector reform, but still we are crippling that. Impunity is another issue which has created a hurdle for us to address violence against women. We are a Samajik Rupantaran or Kiekosa. I am a Jukura Gari Rakitatsum. I am a Rasmitic Astita Kokaran Legora. I am a compromise Gari Rakitatsum. Social transformation, which is key, as I already said, somewhere that has been stopped. Now what we see that political parties are negotiating and compromising transformative agents. Maila Nati Uni Hingsa Ko Munda, Maila Ra Purush Ko Bees Ko Puro Matre Hoi Na. Yo Samajma Rohe Ko Prakriti Ko Purao, Samajma Rohe Ko Bimhet Ko Purao, Ra Samajma Isthapi Sakti Asantulit Bitaran Ko Parinam Ho. Desa Yeh Javasakna Samajma Sakti एक-एक संतुलित होना सकता ही ना, जब समय समाज में रहेगा विभिन्न कार्यक्रमिति को उन परिवर्तन हो जाएगा, तब समय हमें महिला ना कि उन्हें हिंसा, अन्य गर्मी कुरा आरु, सफ़ा ही कुरा आरु मात्रे में होना, तो ये सफ़ा में हमें इन्हें उधर ही नहीं सकेंगे, और गहराई में अपनी हमें और जाइए शुरू करों, गहराई में � तो मैं पत्र का आर्मान वो दिखा रहा हूँ तो साथ ही रूम उनसे हमें लाइक तो था सब तर आज हमें विश्व स्वयं सेवक दिवस को दिन मांग के वंशों वाले स्वयं सेवी भाव बना ले और गाड़ी पर था हर एक कठिनाई बनी पार हो गई रहता है। I think real achievement of whatever Nepali journalist is doing since 20 years. I just acknowledge 20 years because Whatever we are seeing our society face in the paper, this is because of you. Otherwise, we don't know what is going on in Karnali, what is going in Saptari about the violence against women. But 
Not only violence against women, we have seen so many faces about the country, about the women, about the development. And this is only because of you. व्यक्तित्व हरुलाई स्वयं सेवी को कदर दिन पर्छा भन्ने हाम्रो मान्यता हो र त्यो सरकारले पनि गरोस् भन्ने हाम्रो चाहना हो त्यसै गरेर आजको दिनलाई हामीले ब्रेक थ्रुको रूपमा लिएर चाहिँ महिला हिंसा अन्त्यका लागि देशमा शान्ति देशमा शान्तिका लागि संविधान संविधानका लागि राजनीतिक दलहरुलाई जिम्मेवार बनाउन हाम्रो सहकार्य भनेर हामीले यो 16 दिनीय अभियान महिला हिंसा विरुद्ध को सूरत ही नहीं आती है ना अपने लोगों पर पच्चीस तक ही मनाई गई है क्यों? When I saw the list of journalists to be awarded, to see so many very well and recognised women journalists, but also of course lots of male journalists who are writing on the issues of violence against women, you know that was something I really felt very um, glad about, you know, and it moved me. Then also now actually when I look read at newspapers or listen to the FM and different other radio media and also BBC Nepali service man, Gau Gau Bato women journalists are reporting Gare Kusunda Hari. I really feel wonderful.